and welcome back to the Butterworth Center in Dear Wyman House. Last few months I've been doing some behind the scenes tours. This month we're up on the third floor at Butterworth Center to a really special room that uh, was originally Mrs. Butterworth's wardrobe room. And as we look around the room, you can see the wonderful built-in cabinets. If we come back over to this side, we see that there were shoe slots down below, hanging storage here, and over here, this wall of cabinets, which is just phenomenal. And when I saw this room, uh, my office is right across the hall, and when I saw this room, I thought, this is a perfect collection storage room. And so I said, that's my room. Nobody else can take it over. And it was perfect for us to store small artifacts, some of our manuscript files, and hanging clothing. Now, to document where all the pieces are stored, uh, it can't just all be up in my head. And so I did a floor plan of this room with each cabinet given a number. And then each cabinet has another diagram like this, which is this section right here. So I can say if there's a dress stored in this room in section one, drawer one, I can mark that on the uh, artifact sheet. And so somebody in the future will know exactly where to go to find the objects. Let me open one of the drawers here so you can see inside. Wonderful varnished, finished, painted wood, but I still lined the drawer uh, to make sure I didn't have any acid migration up. And then I can lay out some pieces um, flat uh, or rolled if they need to be rolled. So it's really a perfect storage location for our artifacts. Let me close this up so I can take you over and show you one of our hanging storage. These are all pieces that belong to Mrs. Butterworth. So imagine this room filled with her clothing uh, and her, her purses, her shoes, her uh, every item or accessory that she would have used in, in her clothing and her wardrobe. Uh, I can't really picture Mrs. Butterworth coming up here to get her clothes. Uh, her bedroom was on the second floor. I would imagine it was her lady's maid who came up to retrieve whatever Mrs. Butterworth needed. Now, this is a fantastic room, but it's not all of it. Let's go in and see one more space. The wardrobe room continued into this long, narrow space with built-in cabinets on both sides. And then I added cabinets uh, on the other side, because it's wide enough in here, luckily, to put in manuscripts and uh, archival records. Um, not all of them are in here. We've got way more than, than could fit in here. But it's a great place for old photo albums and small items. And along the bottom, you have these beautiful drawers where I can again lay out small artifacts and this whole cabinet is also has its own diagram 
with each drawer and cabinet numbered so I know where things are stored. Let's go out back out to the main room and I'll show you up close one of Mrs. Butterworth's dresses. Well, here we are back out in the main room of Mrs. Butterworth's wardrobe room. And we've got a beautiful dress laid out here on the table that actually is seen right here in this picture or photograph of Mrs. Butterworth wearing the dress. Of course, it's a black and white photo, so I could see that it was a beautiful dress, but was thrilled when we also found the dress stored away. Uh, it was a pale pink, kind of, I would guess, considering the height of Mrs. Butterworth, she was a pretty tall woman. Uh, it was uh, below the knee and then had this train piece that hung down. What was also interesting is that when I found the dress, there was a note attached to it that said the lace used under the arms and across the, the front here was actually Honiton lace that was much older than the dress. So they had these pieces of Honiton lace that they incorporated into the design of the dress. It's wonderful with the beading here on the bow and down the uh, trails, or the tails of the uh, um, bow. And then that's also up here on the shoulder. You have these wonderful little beading pieces on both shoulders. What's also great about this dress is that there was a painting done of Mrs. Butterworth um, wearing the dress that we have down in the library today. Here you can see that painting. It's a wonderful painting. Uh, what's interesting though is you can tell the top part is definitely this dress. The color in the painting is a little more vibrant and um, I don't think the artist chose to go with the original lower part of the design of the dress. This looks to be a much fuller skirt that's floor length and no train. Um, whether, I don't think this is faded greatly. I think it was always this color very pale color. We know that the photo that we have of Mrs. Butterworth wearing the dress is from the 1920s and it's definitely a 1920s style. So it's great when we can uh, show you a piece from our collection but also connect it to a historical photo and to a painting where she's wearing that dress. So it's a very special piece to us here uh, as being from Mrs. Butterworth. Hope you can join us again next month when I find something new to share with you with Curator's Pick. Thank you.